Howdy, and welcome to another thought-provoking, informative sales cast answers. Okay, maybe that's a bit of a stretch, but uh, welcome all the same. I've been asked a number of times how to implement a more attractive URL system in sales, commonly using slugs. So let's take a look at an example. In Activity Overlord, when you're on the user profile page, the URL is something like this. The ending part here is a Mongo ID, and that ID is not very human friendly. So what would be better is to have something like the person's username. Now I'm going to do a separate episode incorporating attractive URLs into Activity Overlord. However, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to do it generically for any project. So I'll create a new project called Slugsville by entering sales new Slugsville with the linker flag. Next, I'll change into the Slugsville folder and generate a user controller and model using sales generate user. So let's take a look at the user model. I'm going to paste in attributes for name, company, email, and phone, as well as an attribute called slug. Okay, let's switch to the user controller. I have a fairly generic create action that creates a user with params I'll send through the Postman Chrome extension, and then we'll return a JSON object. When the user is created, however, we need to put some logic in that will process the username, removing any spaces, and lowercasing the string before saving the value into the slug model attribute. We'll do this by adding a beforeCreate method to our user model. So going back to the user model, I'll add this beforeCreate method, first checking whether the name exists, and then assigning the slug attribute the value of the name with no spaces and all lowercase. Finally, we will use the next method to continue. Let's see if that worked. I'll go into the terminal and start the sales server using sales lift. Next, we'll go into the browser and using the Postman Chrome extension, I'll create a new user with the following attributes. Let's go ahead and post that. And great, both the user and more importantly, the slug were created. So now let's use the slug as a route parameter. I'll head over into the routes.js file located in the config folder where we'll create two routes. Both slash slug and slash user slug will bind themselves to the profile action of the user controller. In the user controller, I'll create an action called profile. Next, I'll grab the slug param and assign it to the variable slug. I want to let anything we catch with the slug param that has a dot in it, like image.png to pass through without hitting our find method. That way we reduce the overhead of searching for a user for params we know that are not a name. So if the param has a dot in it, we'll return next, which will continue to the next piece of middleware, if any. Next, we'll try to find a user by the slug attribute passing in the slug variable we obtained from the param. If we don't find a user, we'll again return next. If we do have a user, I'm going to pass the entire user object to the view, in this case, profile.ejs. Profile.ejs is a simple view template that displays the user name, company, email, and phone. Finally, I'm going to go back to the user controller and add a foo action to make sure that my action blueprint route still works. If you're not familiar with Blueprint Routes, I'm currently working on an episode explaining Blueprint Routes, the first of which is devoted to action routes. Here, I'm just adding the action foo that will return a 200 response. Okay, let's see if all this worked. First, I'm going to create a few other users with Postman. And now here's a list of our users. I can still access them via the user ID, like slash user one, but now I can access them by their username, either at slash username or slash user with the username. I can also access my foo action. Perfect. I really think that's a much better approach. I've left a link to this project's repo if you're interested, and I hope that this was helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.